Have you ever wondered about the man who changed history? Jesus Christ is more than a name. He's a figure shrouded in mystery and awe. But who was he really? A man? A myth? A revolutionary? This isn't your typical hero's journey. It's a tale that challenges empires, upends societal norms, and poses questions that still resonate today. From his extraordinary birth to a life that sparked a global movement and a legacy that continues to shape our world, this journey is anything but ordinary. How did a humble carpenter from a small town not only inspire billions, but also reshape the course of human history? The story of Jesus begins in the ancient town of Nazareth, over 2,000 years ago. It's here that a young woman named Mary encounters an angel. The angel's message to Mary is profound. She is chosen by God to bear a child, to be named Jesus, a name that would resonate through history. As we journey further into the story, we find Mary and her husband Joseph embarking on a challenging journey to Bethlehem. This journey is not by choice, but a decree from the Roman Emperor Augustus, requiring all citizens to return to their ancestral towns for a census. Despite Mary's advanced pregnancy, the couple undertakes the difficult journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, Joseph's ancestral home. The overcrowded town leaves Mary and Joseph with limited options for shelter. In their search for a place to stay, they face numerous rejections as every inn and guest house is filled to capacity. Eventually, their quest for shelter leads them to a stable, a place typically reserved for animals. It is here, under the shelter of the stable, amidst the company of animals, Mary gives birth to Jesus. Nearby, shepherds tending to their flocks under the night sky are startled by a dazzling display of heavenly light. Angels appear to them, bringing news of great joy. A savior, the Messiah, has been born in Bethlehem. The shepherds then decide to journey to Bethlehem to see Jesus with their own eyes. Simultaneously, wise men from distant lands observe an extraordinary event, a new and brilliant star in the sky. This star, they believe, signifies the birth of a king, a prophecy foretold in ancient texts. Compelled by this heavenly sign, they embark on a long journey, following the star with the intent of paying homage to this newborn king. Their journey culminates in Bethlehem, where they find Jesus with Mary and Joseph, offering gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, each symbolizing aspects of Jesus' identity and destiny. Although his adolescent and early adult years remain largely unchronicled, Jesus' life takes a pivotal turn upon reaching the age of 30. He is baptized by John the Baptist, a significant figure in his own right, marking the commencement of Jesus' public mission. He begins to travel the region, engaging with people and performing acts that defy explanation, healing the sick, restoring sight to the blind, even defying nature by walking on water. Jesus' journey is not solitary. He is accompanied by his disciples, a diverse group including fishermen and a tax collector. His teachings, primarily centered on love, forgiveness, and the concept of a heavenly kingdom, challenge the societal norms of the time. His growing influence, however, does not sit well with the religious authorities, who view him as a threat to their established order. The tension escalates dramatically during the Last Supper, a final gathering between Jesus and his disciples. Here, Jesus reveals the impending betrayal by one of their own, Judas Iscariot, who later leads soldiers to Jesus for a mere sum of silver. Jesus is arrested and subjected to a series of trials before the religious and political leaders of the time. This leads to Jesus being presented to Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor. 
Pilate, aware of the religious leader's envy and the dubious nature of the charges, attempts to avoid making a decision on Jesus' fate. In an attempt to please the crowd and the religious leaders, Pilate offers a choice to the people gathered for the Passover festival. It was customary for a prisoner to be released at this time, and Pilate presents them with two options, Jesus or Barabbas, a notorious criminal known for insurrection and murder. The crowd, influenced by the chief priests and religious leaders who feared Jesus' radical teachings and the potential disruption to their power, chooses Barabbas. Their decision, driven by manipulation and political intrigue, seals Jesus' fate. Pilate, washing his hands as a symbol of his refusal to take responsibility for Jesus' death, reluctantly orders Jesus to be crucified. The crucifixion, a moment of profound sadness, sees Jesus nailed to a cross, surrounded by mockery. Yet even in these dire moments, his thoughts are of forgiveness, exemplifying his teachings. His final words, it is finished, seem to signify an end. However, the story takes a miraculous turn. Three days post-crucifixion, Jesus' tomb is found empty. An angel informs the women who visit the tomb of his resurrection. Jesus then appears to his disciples and others, affirming his continued presence before ascending to heaven. His final message is to spread his teachings worldwide. Though Jesus physically departs from the world, his influence is far from diminished. His teachings lay the foundation for Christianity, impacting billions across the globe. His life story, embodying unconditional love, forgiveness, and faith, transcends religious boundaries and continues to inspire and guide humanity. This extraordinary journey from a humble birth to leaving an indelible mark on humanity is more than a religious tale. It's a pivotal chapter in world history and a testament to the power of an enduring message.